Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I'm going to share with you a new nail polish of the week color. In my nail polish of the week videos I always just pick one random color from my nail polish collection or nail polish stash however you want to call it and just do a full-on in-depth swatch and kind of like a review video but also just blabbering around a lot and just talking to you guys because that is something that i love to do just taking some time for myself doing my nails and of course you can just grab your nail polish supplies as well and do your nails together with me but first of all before we're going to start off you want to make sure you have removed your previous manicure or at least made sure that there isn't any like oils left on the nail plate or dust or anything like that so just make sure that you have a nice clean surface to work on and go in with your base coat for today's base coat i'm going in with one of my favorites and it is by holotaco it is the smoothing base i love this one so so much once again it isn't one of the most affordable ones i think it's like 11 dollars or something like that and don't get me started on the shipping <laughs> because that is quite high if you are ordering from Holotaco and you live in Europe just like me. But of course, I pretty much love this one and I love to share my opinions with you guys and just be really honest about them as well because I pretty much love this one. But I can totally understand if you don't want to spend 11 bucks on a nail base. So yeah, that's that. But if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so and become part of my little nail family here at YouTube. But yeah, for today's color, I'm going in with one by Catrice cosmetics this one is number 99 sand in sight it is a very sandy neutral almost kind of like a nude peachy kind of tone these polishes by catrice cosmetics from the icon nails collection are i think almost every single color of them is completely vegan they're cruelty free and they are really affordable as well this polish in particular is very creamy it doesn't contain any glitter or shimmer or anything like that it is just a very nice like plain neutral kind of color i do feel like it has a little bit of a warmer undertone to it that's why i feel like it's a little bit of like a peachy salmony kind of nude but i don't dislike it on my skin tone um even though i have more of like a cooler undertone like cooler towards neutral i'd say um so yeah i think this color will look fabulous if you have a way warmer skin undertone than i have but i didn't hate it on my nails either you know so sometimes it's all about just um trying out some colors just seeing what works for you if you don't like it you can just remove it it's as easy as that when it comes to nail polishes so yeah just try out some new colors and maybe even be surprised of what colors you thought didn't work on you and actually did work out well on you but yeah, here I'm applying that first coat already. And of course, make sure to cap off the edges as well, especially if you have longer natural nails like I do. That is actually something that I do for the base and the top coat as well. And just the first color coat, um, because I have quite a manual job, I uh, just want to have a little bit more protection around the free edge of my nails. And of course, it does... Um, kind of like prevents any chipping or tip wear or anything like that so your manicure actually lasts a longer period of time one thing that i've been asked a lot lately is how long i actually do wear my manicures like the nail polish of the wee colors i tend to record a couple at a time but usually the last one i record I actually keep it on my nails for at least a week because you know I have a full-time job I have like an entire household to run I don't always have time to redo my manicure so I have to make sure that I do a good application a steady application that will last a long time so yeah usually especially if I'm using essence cosmetics polishes or Catrice cosmetics polishes or What's another brand that lasts really long on me? Actually, Holotaco lasts really long on me as well. At least the super shimmery polishes last really long on me. And of course, any glittery nail polishes last pretty long as well. Because those always are a little bit of like a pain in the butt to actually remove. If you don't have the time to actually soak them off for like 10 minutes. 
but yeah those are brands that last really long on me of course it is pretty much up to how your natural nails are if a polish will last long on your nails or not because i do have quite strong nails they aren't the hardest in the world like they are pretty tough like I can do a lot of stuff with my hands without damaging my nails, but because these are my natural nails, I don't use any nail hardeners or anything like that because I pretty much don't need it. I do still have the natural flex in my nails that actually make sure that they bounce back whenever I bunk my hand into something or my nails or anything like that. So my nails tend to have a high like bounce back rate, I'd say. Um, so they actually don't break that often and the thing is with hardeners because i do get a lot of questions about whether or not someone should use nail hardeners um, it does make your nail surface harder which means that if you are going to bunk it into a table or anything else the chances are quite high that you might snap off the free edge or even get a bloody mess because of it because natural nails have a nice flex to them at least if they are quite well moisturized and stuff like that if they are not dry they have a really nice flex which actually makes sure that they bounce back whenever you um, were going to break them if you would have used a hardener so yeah i'm not really pro hardeners but it's totally up to you if you want to use them of course but personally i never really use them <laughs> But yeah, here I'm already applying the top coat. Like, I'm talking so much about random nail stuff in this video. I really feel like I have to do a new nail polish, like, Q&A video or something like that. I've been planning it for, like, three quarters of a year, but every now and then I feel like, okay, I have to do one again. But then I forget, and there's a lot of other projects and just collections coming out that I want to do videos of first. So, sorry about that. I really want to do one soon, but I really don't know when I'm going to do that. But yeah, um, here I have already applied the top coat. You could have seen which one I used a little earlier in this video. You can just skip back if you want to see which one exactly I used. But yeah, this was pretty much the entire nail polish of the week video. This color is once again by Catrice Cosmetics from the Icon Nails collection. It is about 3 euros a bottle and this one is called 99 cent in sight. Let me know what you think about this color. It is actually pretty much opaque with just two thin coats and I think it's a really nice soft color. But thank you so so much for watching and I love to see you guys in one of my next videos. Music